Close your eyes and direct your attention to the breath. And don't let it go sneaking out in other directions. You want to be in charge of the direction that your mind takes. Because there are lots of things coming up in the present moment that you could focus on. But you want to focus on something that's going to be useful, something that will give good results now and on in the future. So any random thoughts that come up, you can just let them go. The sounds outside, let them go. Just be with the sensation of the breath down into your body. Notice how far it goes. As you get more sensitive to the breath, you find that it goes all the way throughout the body. But for the time being, just focus on where it's clear. Make sure that this is your direction. One of the things the Buddha realized on the night of his awakening was that the universe doesn't go anywhere. It evolves and then it devolves, then it evolves again, devolves, it goes back and forth, back and forth, around and around, with the potential of never ending. Which means there's nobody out there who makes up their mind that you have to fulfill their purpose in life or their purpose in having the universe. You can have your own purpose. So what is your purpose right now? It's good to stop and think about that. In the Buddha's case, it was a happiness that was blameless, a happiness that caused no harm to anybody, and a happiness that would last. He realized that that kind of happiness was not just a hedonistic kind of pursuit. It required required developing really good qualities of mind, wisdom, purity, compassion. Those are good things. If you pursue your happiness in a, in a wise way, then it becomes a blessing not only for you, but also for the people around you. And a happiness like that is rare. For, for most of us, the things we gain in life, the way we take our pleasures, are just for us or for maybe a select circle. Simply in the fact that when you gain something, somebody else has to lose. But the pursuit of a true happiness, a happiness that's blameless, requires that you be generous, you be virtuous, and you train your mind to be, to be discerning. And part of discernment is goodwill. See, these are all good things, and they have an influence that spreads beyond you. It's the kind of happiness that spreads around, the kind of happiness that dissolves boundaries between people. So it's a happiness that's really worth, worth pursuing. So ask yourself, is that the direction you want to take, or do you have another direction? The choice is yours. The Buddha never forced anybody to follow his teachings. But he did say there is suffering in life, and sometimes the suffering forces us. We look for happiness in things that turn on us. Then the thought occurs to us, maybe there's another kind of happiness, a happiness that doesn't turn on you. Well, this is the path to that happiness. So it's up to you to decide to direct yourself in this direction. But if you stick with it, you find that it really does reward you. And that happiness the Buddha talked about is real. It's not just some pie in the sky. It's an actual possibility. So have that possibility inform your decisions. As you decide which direction to go.